Dare to be different, dare to make an impact in your world. Rhapsody of Realities Tavo is a great place to start. Get answers to life's questions from God's Word as you study the messages in this devotional daily. You can be sure to live a successful and victorious life. The Bible says let no one despise your youth, but be an example to the believers in word, in conduct, in love, in spirit, in faith, in purity. Welcome to Rhapsody of Realities TV episode, brought to you by Raptured Pet Cost Page. Blessed day to you. Welcome to another episode of Rhapsody of Realities TV, a daily devotional reading for teens. Make a choice that will change your life. Dwell in God's Word. Today's reading is God's Safety Procedure, God's Principle for Protection. Through the Bible, Psalm chapter 121 verses 3 to 7 the Lord is your protector, and He won't go to sleep or let you stumble. The protector of Israel doesn't doze or ever get drowsy. The Lord is your protector. They're at your right side to shade you from the sun. You won't be harmed by the sun during the day or by the moon at night. The Lord will protect you and keep you safe from all dangers. Let us talk. When Jesus was born, the Bible tells us that King Herod staged a manhunt for the young child to kill him. Thankfully, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and commanded him to take the child and his mother and flee to Egypt. Written in Matthew chapter 2 verses 13 to 14. Joseph did exactly as he was instructed. Wait and think for a minute. We're not talking about just any child. We're talking about Jesus, the Savior of the whole world. Shouldn't he be protected by all angels? Why flee with him to Egypt? You might ask. First, understand that there wasn't any deception whatsoever in the angel's instruction to Joseph. There was a real threat to Jesus' life, and Herod actually could have killed the young child if Joseph hadn't followed the instruction. Also notice, the angel of the Lord didn't say, flee to Syria. The instruction was explicit, flee to Egypt and stay there until I bring you word. Matthew chapter 2 verse 13 If Joseph had gone to Syria, he would have encountered another trouble. We must be where God wants us. His protection isn't everywhere. His protection is in His instruction to you. Some people feel they can do whatever they want and choose whatever way to go, and then think God is supposed to see to it that they're shielded and protected from evil. It's not so. God gives instructions and directions. You're divinely protected in following the instructions and guidance that He's given you. You're shielded from all the attacks and evil that destroy others when you stay in His Word. He's the boss. When He tells you what to do and where to go, comply. When you align yourself with His perfect will, you'll dwell in safety permanently. Hallelujah. Go deeper. Read the book of Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 and Psalm chapter 91, verses 1 to 12. Let us declare these words. I dwell in Christ, therefore I'm forever in safety, shielded from all the attacks and evil that destroy others. No weapon formed against me shall prosper, because the word of God is my life. In Christ, I live and move and have my being hallelujah let's do this 
meditate on these words forsake not and she will keep defend and protect you love her and she will guard you written in the book of proverbs chapter 4 verse 6 through god's direction and instruction we can find his protection towards us listen carefully to what the spirit of god tells us it is where the word is given unto us for protection let us not doubt the instruction he has given unto us let us comply to it to see the result he has for us hallelujah make jesus your new lifestyle if you are not yet transformed i invite you to make jesus christ the lord of your life today by saying these words of prayer O lord god i come to you in the name of jesus christ your word says that whosoever shall call upon the name of the lord shall be saved i believe in jesus christ the son of the living god i believe jesus died for me and that he was buried and raised from the dead right now i confess with my mouth that jesus christ is lord of my life I receive by faith eternal life into my spirit. Thank you Lord for saving my soul. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am saved, I am born again, I am a new creation. Congratulations! You are now a child of God. Let us know you are blessed by tapping the comment below. For continuous changes, messages today. Kindly heart and comment. Let us know on how the episode helped you today. Now that you're blessed, don't let the message stop on you, please share. And help us reach the ends of the world. God bless you. It is important for you to be led in the right direction, message us today.